What's up mechanics? Today I'm going to give you guys 5 tips on how to lose weight on a vegan diet very fast, very quick, very easy. Stay tuned. So, um, I had someone in my comments the other day that said, uh, yeah, of course you're still fat, all that processed food you eat. Number one, I'm not on a diet or on this vegan journey to lose weight. Losing weight for me has been easy. Uh, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just saying for me, I know what my body needs or requires in order to lose weight. I can do it working out. I can do it not working out. You know, it's a, it's a whole mix of things that my body will allow me to do and not to do. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna give you five easy, quick tips that work for me. I am not a doctor or you know anyone that can give you uh, expert advice. I'm just here giving you bro tips. So let me give you that disclaimer. So tip number one uh, to lose weight on a vegan diet, it would be to eat raw foods and vegetables. Do you, if you can do a raw till four, if you can do a completely raw diet. That's something that I would suggest highly. When I was on my complete raw journey, I did it for uh, 21 days, but the last seven days, I was only doing raw till four. Uh, I lost a substantial amount of weight, about 20 pounds within those, uh, 15, what was it, uh, 14 days, about 20 pounds. So that, that was pretty good, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, it, it takes them a long time to get that kind of weight off. But uh, I was only eating raw fruits, raw vegetables, raw nuts. Uh, and that was it, you know what I mean, for the whole entire day and I would drink water, you know what I'm saying? So, that was tip number one. For number two, tip number two, you need to uh, try out intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is an amazing way uh, to lose weight if you're, if you're trying to lose weight. Um, so, with intermittent fasting, what you do is set a time slot for when you're gonna eat. Uh, for me, in particular, I would only eat between one o'clock in the afternoon uh, until seven o'clock at night normally it would be about one or two meals in that time and that would be it I wouldn't go to bed until about nine o'clock at the earliest more so like around 10 30 11 o'clock uh, I would go to the gym at 5 a.m. And, and, and like I said I wouldn't eat until one so from five all the way into one my body was burning calories you know what I'm saying non-stop so I would highly suggest that if that's one of the things that you want to do to try to lose weight. The other thing is to go whole foods plant-based. Uh, so what whole foods plant-based is, is where you just eat plants at their most pure form, you know, cook them of course. But what I mean by that is you don't have any other processed foods. Like you're not eating Oreos, you're not packing down all the Beyond Burgers or anything of that nature. Uh, the breads, you know what I mean? The white breads and stuff like that. You're not doing any of those. All you're doing is pounding down the whole foods at their, their raw, not raw, but you know, their most pure form. Like you only go get the greens, you only go get the, you know, the lettuce, that's it. The beans, the dried beans, you're not getting them cooked or canned. You, you're doing all the cooking and can't, I mean, the cooking yourself. So that was one of the things that I found that I had success for it. Uh, when I'm trying to lose weight as like I said before I'm not trying to lose weight I'm trying to you know pump that up a little bigger trying to make I'm trying to get bigger so when you're getting bigger you it, it requires calories if you guys want a video on how to gain weight on a vegan diet I'm here for that I'll, I'll tell you a clean way to balk and a dirty way to balk right now I'm dirty weight I'm dirty balking because it's cheap you know what I mean clean balk is pretty expensive but uh, number four the most important only drink water you hear me Sodas and juices are a bunch of empty calories. If you're on this journey trying to lose weight, the only thing that you should be consuming for a beverage is water. You can do a uh, like a smoothie if you if you really need something with some uh, like sugar or sweet taste. You can do a smoothie like a homemade smoothie, not one of those smoothies you go buy in the store. And I'm talking about with no milk in it, just water, vegetables, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Water, fruit, vegetables. That's it. No added smooth. No added uh. Uh, sweeteners or anything like that so drink your water right when you first wake up you know get your big glass of water drink that down drink the water with your food it will help your digestive system pass the food through a lot better breaks everything down better have you running like a well-oiled machine you hear me I'm getting excited I like talking about losing weight so 
At the end of this month, at the end of January, I'm gonna hook you guys up. I'm gonna do a weight loss challenge. Like, I'm gonna just go ahead and drop some weight just like that, just because people think that I'm trying to lose weight right now. But I'm really not. So, uh, let me show you what it looks like when I try. Anyway, the fifth and final uh, recommendation is to stay away from the oils and sugars, the added oils and added sugars. Uh, this is a big one. So, that means, like, you know. A lot of us vegans, we eat a lot of french fries, stay away from the french fries, stay away from any of the, you know, drinks with the added sugars, stay away from any foods with added sugars, uh, or added oils, or added salt, all that stuff that I've seen from my experience, uh, it caused me to, you know, not be able to drop the weight like I want to. So that kind of goes back to eating the foods in the rawest forms or you know the most simplest form as far as on a whole full plant base or if you can do the raw vegan if you can even combine all of these your weight loss transformation should be like instantaneous very fast huge results of course throwing some exercise that's the only thing that i didn't add to this list because i wanted it to be one through five not one through six but you know adding some exercise Overall, also consult your doctor before starting any new diet regimen or any new training because I am not certified to tell you what to do with your body. I'm giving you, off my experience, how I was able to drop pounds without playing around and gain muscle and do everything that I want to do to accomplish. Uh, so, like I said, that's it. That's the five tips that I have for you. I, I'm trying to tell you the, these should work for you. You should give them a try. Tell me which ones you tried and which ones work for you. If you are new here, make sure you slap that subscribe button. Be sure to eat grass, not ass. You know how we get down on this channel. And if you like, you know what I mean? Look, I'm just happy and excited you're rolling with me. February, we, we, we're going to roll out something completely new. I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to bring you guys along with my weight loss journey. I might take the camera in the gym with me if they let me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring you along with my weight loss journey. I'm going to let you see how I lose weight. I'm going to get a scale and I'm going to weigh in February 1st. I'm weighing in and I'm going to show everybody what I weigh. So by February 15th, I guarantee that I will be at least, at least 15 pounds lighter. I put money on that. So that's a pound a day. A pound a day. It'll probably be more than that. But I'm going to say a pound a day, I will be less by February February 15th, the day after uh, Valentine's. Anyway, guys, eat grass on ass. Be sure to subscribe. Peace out. I love you. I hope this video helped you out.